And developing now, fire officials in Anderson County are investigating multiple fires in the Pelzer area. They say they responded to two of those fires this morning. Our Kelsey O'Donnell spoke with neighbors about their growing concern for safety. It seems like this that are becoming all too common for Pelzer homeowners as crews responded to a fire here at this residence on Square Street and another just a short distance away a short time later on Brock Street. Crews tell us this isn't the first time they've put out fires here in this area over the past several months. Off of Highway 20 in Anderson County, there's a community. From a distance, it appears to be just like any other. But as you travel down the streets, you find what's left of several homes, all within a one mile radius of each other, all at the center of active fire investigations. We've had about, I say, five or six fires in the past two to three months, maybe. And two more adding to that list Thursday morning. Some of the homes seen here are damaged worse than others. Two or three of them have been fully involved or arrived on scene. Most of them we have gotten there pretty fast and we've got to jump on them. On Thursday morning, crews with the West Pelzer Fire Department along with Williamston and Wren were called for two more fires, adding to the growing number in the area. We're told both were quickly put out. While there was minor damage reported Thursday, the number of recent fires have neighbors concerned. It makes me concerned, you know, like for my house, you know, my stepdad and my mother's safety, you know, neighbor's safety. Jamie Bennett moved back in with her family on River Street two months ago, just two doors down from one of the recent fires. That home was a total loss. It's just like it's so sad. Yeah, it's sad to see. She says she hopes investigators will determine the cause sooner rather than later before officials add another home to their list of investigations. I mean, if this is somebody just doing this for fun, it's it's not cool. I just hope it gets cleaned up. And again, the cause of these two fires Thursday morning are unknown at this time, and it's unclear if the other fires are linked to this investigation. Reporting in Pelzer, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. We now know that one person is being charged for setting at least one of the fires. Logan Driver is charged with arson for the fire on Goodrich Street. He's being held at the Anderson County Jail.